this game right here is the one that I have been by far the most excited about for this year. And that was going into 2019 knowing that this year would have Sekiro, would have Devil May Cry 5 release, possibly Bayonetta 3, Slay the Spire, and a bunch of others. But this game, Disco Elysium, this is the one that is... I've been waiting for years for it. And it's been, like, way high on my list of most anticipated releases each year. This is a Planescape Torment-esque, huge, dialogue-driven CRPG about a washed-up detective. And look, I'm doing all this prefacing. I know that this is a one-off quick look about a very text-heavy indie game, so it might not be my best performing video, but stick with this. Holy shit, please stick with this. I think this game is really going to be something special. I am going to get the please like, comment, and subscribe, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell and all that stuff in now because I'm about to just crawl up inside this and live in this game. Oh man, do I want to dig into the character creation or just go with a template? No, I think we are already committing to just really doing a deep dive today and taking as much time as I need. I do love that you can get a preview of some of the skills, like Inland Empire, or the Encyclopedia skill. So, just real quick, let's see our archetypes and appreciate this beautiful art. Uh, we have the thinker, extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. Five in, one psych, uh, which is a power to influence yourself and others. Physique, two points. How well your body is built. Int is your capacity to reason. Motorix, how well you move your body. And you can see all of these different uh, smaller composite skill types. Hand-eye coordination, perception, reaction speed, savoir-faire, uh, interfacing, composure... Then for physique, there's things like uh, physical instrument, electrochemistry, endurance, half light, pain threshold, the shivers, uh, volition, inland empire, empathy, authority, suggestion, and esprit de corps in uh, psych. Then visual calculus, conceptualization, drama, rhetoric, encyclopedia, logic, and int. So encyclopedia is one of these skills that falls under the intellect umbrella. But the thinker lets you start with that skill. Just straight up uh, pick a skill to start with, I think. Ooh, I like this menu. Uh, so three is average, two is weak, four can't go up to that yet. Oh, man. This is going to be a fun one. Let's dump all these down to one and see. I... Mm, I do love the archetype of the brilliant scientist or detective or whatever who is just totally emotionally aloof. What if we had pretty average senses, poor physique... No! No, 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 no! What if we are actually... Fuck. What? Oh, man. What if we punch people with our brains and our fists? We- You can randomize these two?! Okay, we're gonna go three times and pick whatever the third one is. I think maybe roleplay is that. Two- well, uh, One, two... Three. Holy shit. I'm weak and stupid, but I'm very agile. Oh shit. Okay, let me mulligan these a little. Oh, small mulligan. Okay, we're still pretty dumb. So then, what is all this? We have to go deeper in to figure out what all these skills do. Uh, raw intellectual power deduce the world. 
Gives a plus two to your intellect base. What is the... Oh, what is a signature? Holy shit, there's a lot here. Oh, cool. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I have a uh, plus... I, I have two to spend here or two points in it? Okay. Uh, it, in my intellect. So I guess that means I can... No, what does that mean? Is the signature just a starting skill? Huh. I am not sure how that works. I guess we'll find out. Huh. Can I set one in each category? No, I get one signature skill, so I have to make it good. Electrochemistry, from what I've seen, is really fun. Get a party planet, love and be loved by drugs. Uh, so, cool for high flyers, party enthusiasts, cops who need lightning. Cops who need lightning. Electrochemistry is the animal within you, the beast longing to be unleashed, to indulge and enjoy. It enables you to take drugs with fewer negative side effects. It also enables you to better investigate lurid matters. If you need to understand a chemical breakdown or talk to someone blasted out of their mind or understand sexual dynamics, electrochemistry is there to guide you. At high levels, electrochemistry makes you a man of unrestrained pleasure, an unrepentant Lothario who leers at people with a bottle of speed and plastic and a plastic bendy straw in either hand, but with a low electrochemistry, you'll be too innocent to be effective. Without a working knowledge of drugs and sex, this city will be will be difficult to understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually really want to do this. Confirm. So that is my starting stat build. And the first skill I have access to, I'm guessing? The Furies are at home in the mirror. It's their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown R.S. Thomas. That is from a Welsh poem uh, called No Truce with the Furies, which served as the inspiration uh, for the first name that this game was known as. Uh, it would later change publicly to Disco Elysium. The name that there it went on to... Oop. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Yeah, this is from the demo I played, except it didn't have voice acting then. So this is dialogue from the ancient reptilian brain. Ever. Never. Ever. We are conversing with our ancient reptilian brain. We can keep on non-existing or answer back. Never, ever, ever, baby. In an audience, no matter how time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, it's bloated and shameful, a pool of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. So it's our conception of us having... In the dialogue, that you is what it's referring to. Not you as a, an, an all-encompassing, holistic person, but just a vague awareness, some like primordial sense of self, arguing between your reptile brain and your limbic system. Holy shit, this is the coolest opening! We don't want to plunge back into the fathomless deep. Ex love. Ex tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. 
Sail with me through the abyss of Allergic Zone. Hmm. Allons-y. Or, I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Oh, man. Let's all let right. it go. Nothing down to fuck all borough. Return trip to the silence. Let's visit the ancient Zero home. Look, there's... I am tired of being this type of animal and who gives a shit. Holy shit. Great choice, Elder One. It has always been like this, and it always will. We don't want to give in and just die in this black fathom. Do you really? You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why would you think you had your bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much over yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? And now, the Inland Empire skill arises. So the check was eight, and we rolled an eight. But we didn't know we were getting into that, did we? There's this giant ball there, in evil apes. And the evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. How big is the ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. Will she say the same thing again? You can't even make out, you can't even make out yep. it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. Infinitesimally small. Fine for resources. It's a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Or you lose. Yeah, that's the end game of capitalism. Basically. Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat <laughs> around you. A sensation. So, it's not a primordial conception of self, so much as it is a dissociated uh, conception of self. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscious sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. So I love that you have this choice here to waffle, to flip-flop back and forth about what you want. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. Help someone cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest of me. A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. Very cool from hell. Oof. Yeah! this clown man we've created <laughs> he actually looks like he is a clown nose okay yeah this is what I want to feel this magnum sized bottle of Commodore red is empty I think you can make him run by double clicking looks like someone tore out the table the song was playing oh yeah it's just a big pile of cassette tape cassette. yeah take all I don't know about my carrying capacity or anything. Is the reel to reel tape player still on? Rolling empty. Oh, I didn't know about this. There's a shoe. Just a single shoe sitting on a rack.
Yeah, he hustles a little bit if you click. Ah, he found pants. Isn't that lovely? This man has two chain pull switches in one end. The other a light bulb. Truly horrific necktie. Somehow attached itself to one of the blades. So there's a skill check for Savoir Faire. Which is medium difficulty. Looks like it requires a 10. Oh, and there's... That's an interesting way of framing that. So Snake Eyes always loses. Uh, two sixes always wins. But I have a high chance of passing. Just grab the tie off it? Okay. I failed the check. Uh, you reach out to grab the tie, but what's this? Diffuse radiating chest pain. Doom comes over you. Oh my god! This is bad. Feels like sharp stones grinding in your chest. I know that feeling. Dude, that's an accurate description from when I had a hole in my intestines uh, earlier this year. Oh wow, it's still ongoing. Time to start worrying. Oh my Oh, God, I thought I took another tick of, of damage. Finally, the pressure recedes. You find yourself covered in cold sweat, trying not to move, hoping it will keep you from dying. Interfacing. I succeeded at that. You know what you should do? You should stop the fan and then try again. It'll get easier. Damn it, it's locked now, because I failed the first time. Fine, I won't push my luck there, but I will grab my pants. Flare cuts. Oh, and the glass is broken too. He grabbed my shirt. Oh, good. He did. Uh, he did put the pants and the shirt and the one shoe on, right? Yeah. Window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Visual calculus assess the damage. This is something. Wait, no. Hmm. No, that does not fall under one of my strong suits, but it's still better than a coin flip. We did it. Rolled a seven. And that's good for us. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? So visual calculus tells me that I did not... Uh, wait, hold on. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand. None of it's recent. So then my visual calculus is telling me a bunch of things about this scene. Things that I could have not learned if I had not passed this check or had this skill. More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. You get so much information. It's too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Like my other shoe. Yeah, 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 the single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown with, forth, if, with force. Congratulations, you smashed the window with your own shoe, now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Mm. Wait, this is... Again, this is a conversation between two parts of myself. Like, this is your inner monologue asking, wait, maybe it wasn't me, and then a different part of you piping in to go, no, that's a stupid idea. What do you mean, maybe it wasn't you? Do you think that someone else took your shoe off and smashed the window with it? Holy shit, this is cool. I don't need it. I don't need anyone. <laughs> the window agrees. It's cracked smile is cold and sparkly. Oh, no, it's so good. Okay, yeah, move on, sir. Was Oh, hearing. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare-cut pants. Oh. Perception sight says whirling in rags on the aluminum key ring. Sorry, the aluminium key ring. There's a single key on the ring. The number one is etched onto it. It should open the door. Perfect. Is there something else? Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. 
So those are just like his observations of a room or a situation they're in. There are bottles in the bathtub. Hey, a white satin shirt. Plus one to conceptualization, minus one to suggestion. It's not a very charismatic shirt. I didn't think we would have we would have gear like that. Uh, a mirror hangs above bent and broken sink and a fierce discharge of masculine energy. Someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself. Just the outline of a man. Suddenly realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there underneath the, so the soft vapor. Really, nothing. All recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you are in is drowned in a sea of blood and alcohol. Sorry, a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. Yeah, my electrochemistry pays off again with all the synapses you extinguished. It's a miracle you can even think at this sentence. You've interrupted a true act of self-annulment here. Oh. What? Abort, you clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you'll see there, and you will never unbecome it. So we can choose to heed the advice given to us by the Inland Empire, part of our brains, or ignore that advice. Yeah, why don't I touch my face first? What's wrong? Where to even begin? There's the bloatedness and the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Oh, oh my god. Swollen and snail-like tongue. Oh, and he's apologizing to himself. What if what a way to conceptualize and execute the presentation of self-esteem? I'm sorry, I bet you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it, and it doesn't appear to be particularly t uh, tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. Whoa could say I'm scared and I want to stop this now but no we're committed this is a beautiful painting and now this becomes clearer too it's not a good looking man Oof. dear lord help me what is this of course I do it's uh, some kind of superstar I think I'm a su uh, superstar this is the face of late stage alcoholic Mm, too late. Clearly a rigor mortis on your face. Or wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Oh my god. The, the self-criticism is... Ooh, ooh. I'm going to keep making the face, though. Time passed? Oh god, I hope this this game is not timed. <laughs> a lot of people are going to be getting away with a lot of murders. I think each time I choose an option, time progresses by a few seconds. Nah, I'm just going to front to myself. I'm going to delude myself into better self-esteem. Check yourself for a pulse superstar. From here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. I don't need to. Yeah, I gained XP for telling myself off. Getting clever appears to make the expression even worse. Now it's, now it's mixed with smugness. Hold on. Dig deep in your, into your mind to locate the source of the expression. I have a low chance of, of succeeding... I don't know what'll happen if I fail these, but I could try. Attempt to stop the expression from happening with electrochemistry. Yeah, sure, that seems appropriate here. Fuck! 
impossible failure. It's too late. Like an image on film, the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It could take a mi- it would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. Okay, let's roll this dice. No! Damn it. Okay. Leave the mirror be. Dude, all I've done is check like two rooms in this game so far. This rocks! <laughs> Love this. Bonuses from items. All right, we have the minus one because of the shirt. Was there even more to do here? Yeah, I'm going to let the mirror be for now. I just saw the highlight and damn. There's got to be a way to speed this man up. Okay, now we can grab the tie. If we still don't succeed. Oof. What if we just pull on the light bulb, though? A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Oh, no. Hey, my pain threshold stopped me from uh, being attacked by the bright light. <laughs> from being harmed by it. Oh, my God. Yeah. We're going to do it again. No black spots. Dance in your retinas. It's almost pleasurable. I'm playing... Oh, God. Such a simpleton. And it's my fault that he's like this. This is all me. There we go. Oh. We find things to be pretty normal out here. Uh, Rivetichol, Special Administration Region, Zero Centigrade, Black Ice Warning. Okay. Kidoki. There's another exit there. Hello, officer. So we're a cop. Calendar says it's March, year is 51. Look at that portrait. Holy hell, that art is good. Young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Uh, perception, we perceive. Her eyes are brown. Her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Officer, am I military personnel? Uh, no. What about... CEO. No, still no. Chief Technical no. Officer? You're a police officer, sir. You're shitting me. I'm How did not. I become a cop? Unless you've been shitting us all this time. Oops. You've been here for three days on official police business, Noah. I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. She might actually react adversely if I fail this check, so. Hmm. Why don't I remember being a cop? God, I do want to... I am a very stupid person. So I should try the expression. And it'll... Mmm, damn it. Oh, God, yes! This is exactly the line that he would use following failing the goddamn Zoolander uh, look. This blue steel, whatever bullshit. I want to have fuck with you, please? She erupts in laughter. I think if we were so stupid, we may have been disarming. Uh, what was that? That's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on, say it again. No, give me the option to say it again. Said I want to have sex with you, or no, I don't want to. Okay. I said I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> Did he just say making fuck? <laughs> Crazy asshole, you. She wipes the tears from her eyes. What kind of cop are you? I'm a cop of the apocalypse. Superstar cop, I've been established. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. You're pretty. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm the sorry cop. Not sure I'm a cop at all. I'm an apocalypse cop. A copocalypse, if you will. 
Yeah, we're minutes away from the total collapse of reality. Cops walking around with no memory of who they are saying what I just said and can't be more than two days away. Still have some centuries. No, 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 no. It's imminent. Oh, this line wasn't uh, voiceover recorded. Mere minutes? I should go and prepare then. Thank you. This has been delightful. I hope it does uh, It does all come crashing down. Otherwise, uh... it's going to suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. Why? Why would I have to interrogate you? Have you done a murder? For the record, no, I didn't do it. Do what? A murder? I think she may have done a murder. Time to snoop through her cigarette. Oh my god, with my electrochemistry. You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray, light it up, and smoke the living shit. No! Am I a smoker? Who knows what you are? A monster? A murderer? The gnome of Groma? You feel like a smoker, especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive cigarette stub, still smoldering deliciously. No! But she broke it at the filter. I can't smoke that. How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette, or better yet, an entire pack. Strike that. A carton. Make sure they're all healthy and able-bodied, and then smoke them all. Wow! I've made some bad choices already. Yes, I should do that. I should enthusiastically do that. I should not not do that. I'll make it priority one. I'll think about it. I'm willing to bet the more enthusiastic I am about this, I will get some kind of addictive property, but I might get more experience from this. I don't know. Good thinking about... Oh, no, no, no. No. When you're done thinking about them, graduate to getting them. Shut up, electrochemistry. Task gained. Oh, no! So this is... I uh, I would say some kind of side quest to go get smokes for massive bonuses. Oh, no. Oh, I hate what I've done already. I've certainly made some decisions. There's no answer. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. Inland Empire succeeded too. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. Ooh, ooh, ugh. We could say to that, I am so alone. Why are you doing this? Don't do this to me. Beauty, don't abandon me on this ugliness, in all this ugliness. Or swallow the emotion. Yeah, let's talk to ourselves real quick. Door is mute and indifferent. Your despair is a joke to it. Knock much harder. Still nothing. Whoa. You, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, because this check succeeded, I have the option of doing one of these things or suppressing the urge. The murmur in your ears recedes slowly. Your breathing normalizes. It's one lucky door. F oh, Jesus. Only with a key for in the inside. As you hold the metal, you sense the warmth left by her hand. That's, I guess, setting up the idea later on that I will be able to tell how active a scene is by I don't, uh, by similar metrics. Trump Le Monde, Zwing in addition, satirical newspaper. Guessing Le Monde is the world, so top of the world? Double click to run. Press space to stop. Handy, handy, handy. This is so damn cool. And we've only progressed to 836. So time is not progressing by itself. It is tied to what I'm doing. It's where lyrics would be. <laughs> uh. 
This game has a good sense of humor to it, too. Oh, I just want to check that. There we go. Big old karaoke mic, just waiting for someone to sing into it. Speakers connected to the radio, the music is seasoned with static. It's a good description. Alright, buddy. Gart. Cafe manager. Man his late 20s stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance and looks down again. So he had disdain in his eyes. So all of these things I'm passively um, succeeding at are more like perception checks. That I guess if I fail them, I either won't be notified of anything awry. Or I was going to say that maybe it'll show like uh, empathy, uh, f easy failure or something. But no, it's only, I think it's only going to pop up if I've actually noticed something I can, if I've actually noticed something I can take advantage of. Something tells me you don't like oh, me, no. so I'm going to act You're on my empathy hero. information. A real hero cop. Hmm, sarcasm? Yeah. Did the massive property damage upstairs and anything to do with this? Yeah. Am I? Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room? <laughs> wow, I can really throw my cop weight around. No. It's not. You see, actually, you didn't. You haven't done anything even remotely useful since you got here. What have I been doing? Well, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. Hmm. What about the bird? It's a competent work of taxidermy. Oh, one of its wings is broken. He's trying to mend it. The bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Small engraved steel tag says the Great Skua. Yeah, let's act on that. It's the Great no, Skua, right? Your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? You mean my buddy? Oh, so he's really just not gonna talk to me. At all. No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. What's the difference? He's very animated all of a sudden. All of a sudden, this seems like a touchy subject. Yeah, I what is three the... cafeterias to manage? Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Does he think it's beneath him? She just. You know. Okay. Weird. And very suspicious. Inland Empire, you should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get, your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know of your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal size. My soul is puny. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Or I can discard the thought. So, these are the different parts of me pushing and pulling in different directions. So, each part of you represented by a skill has its own compulsions, its own desires that it wants fulfilled. Like uh, the electrochemistry pushing me to get cigarettes. Oh my god, this game! Uh, I do believe our character's soul is immense, though needs to be heard through a PA system by other people. What is Half Light doing here? I need to learn more about these skills, by the way. Uh, whether you like it or not, ram it up their ears. Says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yourself. This goes well with Ethereum developing that I am uh, a down on my luck superstar person. 
Let's finish the thought. So does that mean I can do this now? This feels right, you belong here. I can take the mic and just do something, right? Me? Oh, wait, the menu. Nope, that's not the fucking menu for karaoke songs. <laughs> Large bubbles rising to the surface. I don't know why that was worth examining. There we go. Healing item. Soft perv and electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone's working. Inside you catch a glimpse of union paraphernalia, strike posters, some red pennants. Hell yes. Mess all in reserve for union members. Doors open 1600. The royal pinball machine is unplugged. Oh. Hold on. I'm going to wait to talk to those two, because first I would really, really like to do some karaoke. Bottle of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful dark liquid spilling out. Electrochemistry time. Sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Oh. Hmm. Not two hours. Maybe an hour? I think we got up just prior to eight o'clock. I have to resist this urge to day drink an hour after waking up from my hangover blackout. Maybe I should lick it before I go? Excuse me? Do you have something better to do than lust for sweet syrupy rum and lemonade? With a twist of lemon? Maybe lime? Maybe who cares? Just rum? Maybe I should lick it. Just a little lick. Oh my god, the, f the f grime of this man. Your mesolimbic reward pathway is going wild at the thought. Lick it, lick it, lick it. Your receptors chant. Lick it, but only a little. I'm just gonna do a little lick of the of the table rum. You lick it, but only a little. Only with the tip of your tongue, because you're a pleasure player. After two or three licks, the crust begins to melt, and a sweetness breaks loose. The sharp, titillating scent of alcohol rises to your nostrils. It's dizzying. Ah! A real drink would go well with those cigarettes. That's a great combination. Oh, no. So I have to balance how much I feed this desire lest it become dangerous. Oh, my God. It's... Woo! Wild pines encircled by a logo with a tree. A colorful piece of plastic is dangling from his carabiner. Hmm. Makes your fingers itch. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. You can take the pills, inspect the piece of plastic. Oh, let's wake him up. Fuck, I'm failing like everything. Well, we're gonna take the pills and be on our way. Tutorial agent. What? Oh, okay. We're breaking the fourth wall. You've just picked up medicine. This item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen. Above your character portrait, click on the plus to heal your morale. If you have morale damage. Inspect the piece of plastic. It's an ID, doubling as a shift card. And John Permit, young, able-bodied man, stares back at you from the photo, Santiago S. John. Let's try to steal it. Hell yeah. Your fingers find their way into the shackle, flicking open its spring-loaded gate. The metal loop holds a plastic ID in the leather-bound pocket. And the man, he's gonna, he's, yeah, he's just gonna snore. Wait, hold on. You never know, better be quick. Yeah, I'm gonna steal the document. Talk about your shift card. What else we got? We got money? Find a black paper note with a woman's profile on it. Something like this one lived centuries ago. The note says five. Five for real. It feels nice and greasy. Okay. Cool. We're out. Got what we came for. Which is to say nothing, because we didn't come for anything in particular. Teach me how to use karaoke machine. Bartender. No, man. I'm not the bartender. 
I'm the cafeteria You'd still pour me a drink, right? But I'm not. I'm the cafeteria Damn it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Damn it. Oh, you're the worst. Do I have an objective to... No, just the booze and the smokes. Damn it. I want to do karaoke so much. Okay, we'll talk to humans. Like you. Hello, Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. No! Fuck! Damn it, Lena! Okay, fine. Kim Kitsuragi. Bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket, tapping his foot on the floor, waiting for you. On the sleeve of the jacket, as well on its back, are the same enig uh, enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Yeah, Hello. let's shake hands. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. I'll mm, invent a name for yourself. Hell yeah. We're gonna try. Yes! Now, what are my options in terms of that? Your name should be Deep Golden Orange. Hold on. I have to read this whole thing out. It's so good. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be Deep Gold and Orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. It's not yet time. I don't really know my name or say nothing. Huh. Okay. It's not yet time. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Kinda. Mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It I don't know, man. To assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? <laughs> yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. Right. And the interviews? <laughs> yeah, Good. of course I have. But even if you haven't, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. I'm gonna lie my way through this shit. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Look, man, you know, yeah. Does that mean the body is no longer in the tree? So there's a body in a tree and we may or may not have removed it. Does that mean the body is... It does not. Yep. It, completely? Yep, completely. Does that mean you took the body down from the tree? Yes. Completely? 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 Damn it. Does that mean you took the body down from the tree? I'm going to deflect and say, I don't like dead bodies. Sure. But did you take it down from the tree? Damn it. They figured out my ruse. What dead body? Mm -hmm. Damn it. No, I so didn't. the body is still in the tree. Fuck. I couldn't lie my way through it. There was probably some kind of passive check I could have completed that I just happened to fail invisibly. I don't know. This is the first time you detect a wariness in the lieutenant's voice. It's obvious he would have preferred for the body to no, to no longer be in the tree. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. Oh! We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. How long has this vendor that I'm on been going? Am I on a seven-day bender? I told you I'm not really a cop. Well, uh, we all feel that way sometimes. There's no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. You see, he took that to be like an imposter syndrome question. My character literally doesn't know if he's a cop or not. Let's get going. Can't remember anything. I could see you drank last night and the night before. That you're still drunk now. I've seen officers go through much worse. Damn, dude, really? What an indictment on the state of policing if you if this is like just the middle ground 
of the how bad can it go bell curve. If you need something for your headache, there's general there's a general store nearby. As I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Well, I do have pain meds anyway. Uh, Painkiller would be good about now. This thing is pulsating with discomfort. Oh. Fuck off. Pain threshold. Uh, best cure for a headache is, of course, morphine. <laughs> oh, they won't have that. Some cigarettes will have to do... Shut up, electrochemistry! Oh my god, it's so insistent! Which is... Mm, spot on! Can you be so sure I'm from the police? Oh no, my... What is happening over here? Oh, I may have lost audio. Hope I didn't. Nope, we're okay. Good. I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. Uh, Insignia of the Citizens Militia on your sleeve. Okay. Wow, so he is doing his diligence here. The white rectangles? Yep. They're just white rectangles. They're not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling a streak of Revachal West. Should I have a badge or something? It was not on me when I woke up. Yeah, no, I don't think lying is going to work on him. It has not worked super well so far. So now we have to report our badge missing. Shit. He has a short wave. Use it to report the badge missing. Locate it quickly. And the body down should take precedence. Okay, let's go. Oh, I have a... I don't... Hmm, I wasn't expecting to have an actual party. <laughs> uh, it's now 9 o'clock. So before we talk to the cafeteria manager again, let's go out back. It's bolted. Oh, it's just the kitchen. <laughs> Maybe I have to go out this way? Or there was not the uh, door... Summer door closed for winter. There was the other door upstairs. And then also here. Oh, Revishol. Oh, cool. Renunciation guides. Oh, the outdoor arts. Ooh! Okay. I'll get back to you. Let's see if I can get around back. There is my other shoe on the balcony. Great. It's this. Whoa. Electronic doorbell. Yeah, we have no leads, so this is... Holy hell. This is a lot. For now. Until we, uh, have direction and purpose with which to use that information. Jesus Christ, small child! Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. Human being decomposes. This kid's ladder is rickety, be, uh, rickety but still climbable. Ladders for kids wouldn't hold the weight of a grown man. Someone's trying to grow herbs. It's a toolbox. With some money. And magnesium. The hangman. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. Uh, it's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. Cargo belt twists his neck in unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. W why is it so bad? What do you mean? Oh my god. Legendary endurance. Let's see if we can do it. We could not. It smells repulsive. 
fills your mind, flushing you from within. Ah! Christ. Oh, that last noise is especially gross. Feel a great force ringing you from uh, the stomach. Body curls and pushes it out. Okay, cool. The smell of Commodore Red rises from the pool among a distilled spirit and bits of shish kebab. Oof. Happens to everyone. Oh, wow. He's really, really uh, patient like a saint. Huh. Hangover's clearly making this worse for you. Could you use some ammonia to clear your head? Where do I get ammonia? Retain nearby. East of the hostel, they usually have a small apothecary. If they don't, points to the greenhouse. Huh. Hmm. Having the ammonia is a modifier to the endurance check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Active decay, the lieutenant raises a white piece of linen to his nose. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one's judging. Well, it means we're going to have to come back after we can deal with the smell of decomposition. Okay. <laughs> the boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than 12. Wow, I want to kick him. Oh, yeah. Never could be, Kuno. O okay. A moment Can't of your time, talk, please. Pig. She's coming up strong, throwing rocks. <laughs> I both love and hate this child now. Uh,. Shit coming up strong, sounds good. Joyous, you should hang out with this kid and see what juicy shit is all about. What that juicy shit is all about. I mean drugs. Yeah, Kuno. Ride the lightning, Kuno. What the fuck? Kuno's riding this, see? Okay, so the kid is high off his tits. The rake, Kuno. You should throw the rake at him, Kuno. The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. What? All right. Elsa saying the Kuno, show me what she got. What she got there? What she got, huh? Show me what she got. Now I'm back to hating him. Kid moves his hands like a basketball player dribbling fast. Right, pig, this is where Kuno plays. <laughs> this little wooden choo choo. Fuck do you want with it? <laughs> Look at that fucking shit. Try and get me killed? Oh my god! <laughs> Lutan takes a quick <laughs> quick note in his notebook. It's a trap. Don't climb it. Yes, Gardner used to work there. Ah, uh, I couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Shit's nothing. Okay. Look up in the library. Kudo is not a fucking dictionary. Fucking small brain. Kudo means the gardener, all right. Oh my God, Kuno. So he's having his own mental dialogue while we are. And holding this conversation. Oh, that's so good. What do you know about the body, sir? <laughs> I know a shitload about this body, pig! Wow! Wow! This is where you quickly ask him questions. Real cop questions. Like a cop. Who was he? Kuno's fuck gimp picks up a rock. Uses the fuck gimp for target practice. Oh no, Kuno. No, no shit. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. 
Wow. <laughs> Trying to make Kuno sing into the popo phone. How'd he get up there? Where were you? So you're clearly lying. Night City. It gives this info out. On a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. Kuno didn't smoke the gimp, if that's what you mean. Yeah, I saw some suspicious people. They were pigs! <laughs> oh, I'm really testing his patience, huh? Wait, does he say something new? Oh no, this is not good. I hate this child. Okay, no, this is just gonna be the same thing. Okay, I have more questions about the crime scene. Will he cooperate at all? No. Who is Kuno? Kuno's Kuno, pig! Kuno. Primal. Violent. Do you refer to yourself in the third person? Who the fuck are you calling it? <laughs> third person. Kuno's the fucking first person. Yikes. Yeah, oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Everyone can hear you, you need to get the hell out of here. Just answer the questions, boy. Escalate, Kuno. Wow! Are you high, sir? His eyes bulging out of their sockets, rolling hard, yelling at the windows. Yeah, rolling super hard. Don't punch him. It's a bad idea. Or punch him. I'm not going to punch this 12-year-old. This super high 12-year-old. As much as I want to. Put you up to this. Who's doing it because he likes it, pig? This is where Kuno establishes dominance over you. No! <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I'm being corralled into punching the child. You put him up to this yourself when you decided to talk to him in the first place. Aw, oh, damn it, Kim. Jesus. Fuck this kid. Did Gar put you up to this? This is a sick charade. Okay, I'm not going to punch this kid. I like that they at least censor it. And it draws this very clear delineation between it's this character being a piece of shit and not the game kind of reveling in it. They make that, that distinction very clear. No, I'm not punching him. Change my mind once again. Jesus. What an unpleasant child. <laughs> Just gonna go now. Fuck. <laughs> Letter R wears a crown and the ribbon below, a light above descending. Fingers start to itch just looking at that padlock. I don't know that I am capable of doing this. You, uh, we could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage. Or... Or we could ask for a key from the manager, the whirling, and rags. Or I could pick the lock with my fingies. And call them my fingies to Kim, my lieutenant. And then what about back here? 
pile of Eternite. Conspicuous pile of the roofing material, Eternite. That sounds like a World of Warcraft metal. That you mine at, like, level 140. Or that you will mine at 140. Fuck. I'm terrible at this. Oh, this open up more options behind us, though. Wait, can I not get back there yet? Nope. Let's safe to go around a different way. Let's see where this takes us. Because it's going to auto path towards that. Is that going to take us all the way around here? Oh, good. Good, good, good. It's quite nice. Oh, we're going back this way. There's even more to explore in the street level. This looks almost like a Silent Hill-esque crater in the street. Yeah, we didn't even come around this way. Let's see the sign, close from winter. There's another dude. We're gonna ignore him for just a moment. Yeah, we will take all that money. Hell yeah. What is going on here? Oh, the, the strike? And the union workers, maybe? Bastards! We have a right to- Oh! Work. He's a scab. A scab leader. Oh no. Pull up and stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. Here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down? We're to Why fight I? for a cause. Strikes usually have problems with people who have causes. Good. We're fighting for a cause here. Right to work. Right to work. You're not positioning yourself in a good light, sir. Besides, we're not that different. It helps the people see us talking. Cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't want to do that. Actually. How about no? Might be time. Don't let the fat bastards tread on you. Cops tend to side with the higher-ups, but you're essentially still workers. Yeah, which is why you being a strike breaker and a scab leader is so fucked up. What is wrong with you? I don't trust cops, but I can see you understand the right to work. Right to work. Maybe you should ask them the question. Like why we're not allowed to make a living here. Shame on you. We have families to feed you piece of shit. So do we, scub. I like this dude already. Union shits are on full strike. Don't think they're gonna let you through the gates. Try and meet their fat boss. Well, now there's a murder. How did you not notice? There is a smell. Don't put it past these harbor bugs. They do anything. And she uses a large fist. Shameful cops doing nothing. You should bring back up. Open the gates for us. Blockading gainful employment for workers is a crime. No, I I picked my side, definitely. What is a strike? Where are all these strike breakers? Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave for now. Cause that's not what I'm here for. This is Grit, G R I H. Okay, I think, like, this is an awkward spot to end this on. But I think we've gotten a decent look at this just through the first few screens, and just how in depth this goes, and how the real real estate of the game is in your mind. Okay, bye.